As part of the Amateur Radio Foundation training course, you're required to complete a short Morse code appreciation practical. Unlike in the past, today's radio amateurs aren't required to learn Morse code, but it's important to understand the basics. Chris, G0IPU, from the Chelmsford Amateur Radio Society, tells us what's involved. A candidate on a Morse appreciation part of the foundation course would expect to have a go at receiving in a very simplified form by writing down dots and dashes and then decoding the signal that's been sent by the instructor. And then later on, the uh, instructor would issue a piece of text to them to encode into dots and dashes, the same with which they've received, and then actually send it back to the instructor. It's not a, a question of learning Morse code, it's having an appreciation of it. I've been doing Morse code, so we've been um, transmitting and receiving. I've never dealt with Morse code before at all, but I quite enjoy it actually. The speed at which the, the Morse code is sent would probably be reduced down for somebody that's having a lot of difficulty uh, distinguishing the dots and the dashes, because some people do find it difficult. In days gone by, it used to be done at 12 words a minute, frighteningly fast. As time has gone on, we've got down to about one word a fortnight now, very, very slow indeed. No one has ever failed the Morse assessment. It's always tailored to the person, the individual, to make sure that they understand the makeup of Morse code. As well as being a part of the Foundation syllabus, this practical serves as an introduction to Morse code. And many amateurs go on to learn and use Morse to communicate around the world.